Hey, what's up? I'm going to show you some really interesting ways to get unlimited grunge maps from Blender for free. And then also some really interesting ways that you can use them outside of just the more traditional way of applying them to a surface. So first things first, I'm going to be here in Blender. I have a, a plane that I made and I'm using the Polyhaven add-on. It's like 20 bucks. I highly recommend it. You can go to their website and download all, all of the stuff yourself one by one, or you can just get their uh, add-on and get all the textures, models, HDRIs sent to your Blender file directly. So we're going to start with a concrete texture and I have some pulled up here. Let's find one that's pretty even. This one's good. So I like this, but it is a little low res. And the nice thing about this specific add-on is that if you go into the texture properties, you can go here and you can select like 4K and it'll download the high res files from their website, I guess, and bring it onto your computer. So this is going to be on your computer. You definitely need the space for it. But as you can see now, it's uh, it's 4K, it's higher quality. I'm going to get rid of these extra files like displacement and texture color. Don't need that as much for what we're doing. Make it dark and then throw a color ramp on the roughness and start crushing those values. As soon as you get more black in there, it starts to look more glossy. And if you bring some of that white back in, it makes it look more matte. Sometimes you can even flip these values to get an inverse effect. So this is how I create wet floor maps super fast, super easy. But now let's do something else with this. So I'm going to let's do this. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to take this, move it up just so that it covers the camera, but it doesn't need to be all the way. I'm going to parent it to the camera. So now when we move the camera, it moves with it. So once we have it parented like that, we are going to take the material, duplicate it to let it be its own thing, and then go to transmission and turn it up. So now it's kind of turning it into glass. And let's increase the brightness, the, the color. There we go. So now it looks a little bit like glass. And essentially what we're doing is we're creating a lens, lens dust like a real world lens dust on the actual uh, glass itself. And I'm okay without, I think for this, we don't really need the normal. So if we go into the camera and we move the camera down, you're getting these like really interesting lens effects on top of your, uh, on top of your screen. And right, right now it's a little bit crusty. It's kind of crazy. And you're, you know, rendering your Im image through glass. But if you were to keep tweaking it, and mess with some of these values. I think it can get some really interesting live uh, lens dust that's always on the camera. And we can also take this and move it closer and further from the camera. If we move it further away, if we move it closer, you know, it gets a little bit more spread out. And then this is where if it if it's a 4K texture, it helps or you can just have it cropped to this amount. You can do whatever you want with it. What makes it better though is if we enable depth of field. So now you're getting all these different artifacts on the lens as you're moving around. And it's always stuck to the lens so that no matter where you move, it's always there. And it's always kind of like, it, yeah, it, it gives it this kind of grungy lens effect. And we can change the f-stop to make it blurrier. And depending on the IOR of the, of the um, glass, it can really impact. Pull it back, we get a little bit of a wider angle, which could be cool you know, you get distorted either way. So this could be cool if you're making like a music video or something in Blender. Uh, I think that'd be really fun. So depending on how far from the camera it is, how close you're getting different type of bokeh and lens dust and things like that. So definitely something worth trying out if you want to or your next Blender render. So that's the, that's the second thing that you can do with the grunge maps. And obviously these are interchangeable. You know, if you want to swap this out for a different texture, or again, you want to mess around with the color ramp and intensity of some of the stuff, you can get some very interesting results. You can also, you know, you can also rotate it, stretch it, all these kinds of things. You can, what, what you can also do is you can take the plane itself and turn it. Like I'm turning it now, the camera's still, but when I turn the plane, you know, it does all kind of wacky stuff. Distortions and... These can be cool for just visual effects if you want, you know, like, again, my, the first thing that comes to my mind is a music video, but it doesn't have to be that. It can be anything. And that's what I mean by unlimited results from this. The last thing is kind of going off of this, and that is to create a grunge texture for you to use in your renders like Photoshop or, or outside of Blender. And so this is just going to be a backdrop for 
you guessed it, our photo shoot. So I'm going to take this, move it over. I'm going to unparent it. So this is essentially the setup. And again, we're going to be shooting through this glass. And all the same principles apply, as I mentioned earlier, like you can change the size, the color ramp settings, the rotation of it for unlimited options. And you can change the, the base roughness map with stuff you found online, just pictures of random things. I mean, it's funny how a picture, a random black and white picture of like your keyboard can make for a really interesting roughness map. So once you have this set up, what you do is you take the area lamp that you have and you start kind of bringing it around. You want to have it just outside the border, like here. Oh yeah, the color has to be white, duh. So kind of set up some of the lamps around the perimeter, never really crossing into the camera, but just on the outside. You can set up however many you want. You're gonna grab both of them and just start kind of like rotating them. So once you have that, that's kind of it, right? Like you can just render this out and however it looks, you can drop it over top of your render. Sometimes I like keeping the noise, like rendering it with noise, because it can create a very interesting result as well. You can get some of that noise in there from the image, which could add an additional like subtle layer of grunge. And so again, this is unlimited because you can swap out the roughness maps for whatever you want. You can rotate it, change the scale, all these kinds of things to get a lot of variety. And then also you can mess with, with this right here. I don't know how to do it, but there, there must be a way where you can just turn off the lights and not have them be reflecting. That could be in some of the shader and some of these no properties. You could probably set that up. Somebody who's smarter than me can probably figure that out. Um, I understand you could probably, instead of using the roughness, you could just plug that into the base color and render out some free roughness maps that way as well. But I do like the way that it looks on, on glass because you can get a little bit of a more realistic look to it. Oh, and if you want to download these grunge textures that I made for this video or the setup that I use to shoot the grunge textures, I'm going to have that available to download for you if you want. They're not going to come with the textures that I use, but you can easily swap them out and use your own textures or whatever you want. So yeah, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions on, on different ways to do this or some other uh, methods I should try out, or if you want to use this method and then put it in your artwork and then share that with me on Insta or whatever, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you learned something. Be sure to subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff. Share this with people you think might find this interesting. And um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.